But let's talk about that hurdle. Let's talk about Josh Allen. Uh, I was listening to uh, Colin Coward the other day, and he has uh, Greg Cosell on every week. Love Greg Cosell because he is like the film guru. Greg Cosell, nobody knows, you know, the, the X is a nose of football better than this guy. He's been with NFL Films for like 40 years, and he breaks down every single snap of every game. It's, it's extraordinary stuff. So, of course... Uh, you know, this was the game of the week and it's what everybody was talking about and everybody's got their story and their take and their angle. And, uh, but I love, I love this, uh, part of Craig Cosell's feature on the, on Coward this week, because, uh, you know, Coward flat out asked him, he said, you know, Greg, take away your 40 years experience watching film and, and, you know, take away just, you know, anything you really know about the game from an analytical standpoint. So, you know, no bias in mind, anything like that. And you watch these two guys, Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. He goes, which one do you think is the better quarterback? And he said it's incredibly close. Like, it's just, it's so negligible, the the difference. But he said the reason he thinks that Josh Allen is the more talented quarterback is because of the size and the athleticism. And I think that was the best way to put it. If you're in the camp of arguing that Josh Allen is the better quarterback than Patrick Mahomes, I think that is the best argument that you can possibly have. And the hurdle yesterday is just the perfect example of that. Patrick Mahomes does a lot of wizardry bullshit. I mean, we see it all the time. And that's what I was talking about earlier, where it's just so damn frustrating to watch if you're not rooting for him. Because it's just like, it's like, damn. It's literally just like, damn. I, I don't know how he does half the stuff. And like I was saying earlier, he, he does this pirouette bullshit, this, this spin around, spinny top ballerina crowd, and nobody else can do that. I mean, even like Lamar Jackson, who's like the fastest guy I've ever seen play the position, just an ungodly athlete. He, he doesn't even like, he doesn't move like that. Like, if, if, if Mahomes and, and, and Jackson raced, I mean, I can't imagine it would be very close. Yet Mahomes moves in this way where it doesn't look athletic. It doesn't, I, 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 as you can see, I just, I think this is what everybody does when they talk about Mahomes. I, I don't have an explanation for it. And, and like, you know, Dave's coming in here and saying, yeah, it, it's Houdini like. It's just weird. It's like it's like this cloak he has where he can it's kind of like Doctor Strange where he can like, you know, throw one portal on the ground and jump through it and then jump through the other portal on the other side of the room. Cuz it doesn't look like he's fast enough to do it. It doesn't look like he's athletic enough to do it. Yet I mean, there was a play yesterday where he had the ball in the backfield for like 7 seconds. And he's like spinning around and you got like world class World-class Bills defenders chasing him in the backfield. And he somehow gets out of it. <laughs> First down. I just like you're, And you're just like, but with Josh Allen, he can do stuff like that. Just not as, I, I don't think not as stylish, right? Mahomes has this style to him. But I think the reason we love Josh Allen so much is because his style is, is I'll run you the hell over. It's that Buffalo, you know, it's, it, it's, it's that Buffalo breed. I think that's why, and I've said this a million times, but it's just why he fits in this organization so perfectly. And not that I think either one, I mean, they're both incredible as far as like they're, they're tangibles that nobody else can do. But the reason I think that Greg Cosell, and in my opinion, you know, when it comes to the guy you'd rather have from a, you know, athletic standpoint, Mahomes can't do that. And it's not a, a discredit to Mahomes because nobody else can. Like, not, no. <laughs> like, just flat out, no, no, you can't do it. No one else can do it. And it's not like yesterday, oh, you know, wow, Josh Allen hurdle. It's like, oh, he hurdled again. What is that, the fifth time? It's at least the third time. The second time against the Chiefs. No, there's four, right? There's four hurdles. There's two Chiefs, a Patriots hurdle. I mean, look at this. Look at that. I'm listing off hurdles. 
I'm listing off like like known like remember all time hurdles from a quarterback. What? And you watched the play live yesterday. How did he even know to time the hurdle? I mean, my ass would have gotten blasted back to the 1800s on that run. And he times it to where it's literally perfect. And how your mind, and that, and, and that's the thing I think that gets forgotten when it comes to a play like that. Because it just looks like this athletic specimen, and, and I mean, and it is. But how about the mind that goes into that? The wit, the IQ, the overall ability of timing to be able to pull off a, a, a play like that, and it all has to come together perfectly to execute it. I just, I, I don't, I don't think. Well, no, I don't know. I don't know. There's, just, there's just nothing else like it, and there's, I'm, I've never seen anything like it. I never will again. And like I said, it's just it's not like it's this this one off anomaly cool thing. I mean, it is his like that. This is the best way to put it, I guess. You know, Mahomes little and this is the best way to compare these two guys. I think this is the perfect way to do this. You know, Mahomes little bullshit shovel pass that works every single time. Like everyone knows it's coming. If the Chiefs are on the on the three or so yard line. And this is just, it's the credit to Andy Reid, and it's the credit to Mahomes, and it's, oh, God, my least favorite player, I think. He's getting up there. He's getting up there with Brady. Kelsey. Those three are just an absolute problem. And it's that little bullshit, underhand or left hand, whatever, that seems to work every time. That's Mahomes' thing, right? That's his defined shtick so to speak and Allen's is the hurdle and it's the best way to compare the greatness of these two guys because they're both they're both traits that nobody else can do and they both kind of ultimately wind up resulting in success for their team it's just in completely different ways and that's why watching these two guys go to, go off together it, it, it's just extraordinary Robbie coming in here saying Kelsey is phenomenal. Can't hate on what he does. Why do you think I? Why do you think I hate him? <laughs> he's, he's unbelievable. And that hey, another 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 like one of these to the Bills D yesterday. You know, finally Travis Kelsey. I know he had eight for one hundred eight, but he's he was living in the end zone against the Bills, or he had been. There was never really that. Other than that Juju Smith-Schuster play, which, I mean, that to me, when you look at the defense yesterday, that's the one play you look at and you're just like, and I think that's where I was starting to feel like, man, like, you know, is this defense really going to unravel like this in this spot, the spot that they were meant to rise and prove that this was the defense built to be able to win games like this? That was the play that really just kind of stuck in your ass. Because Mahomes danced around, got it to Schuster, who hasn't done shit all year. And you got three guys right on him. And I don't know how the hell they missed the tackle, but they did. And, you know, there's, there's the big, biggest play of the game for the Chiefs, Schuster all the way to the, to the end zone. But Kelsey usually just digs them up for massive, massive plays. And he had a great game, of course. Don't get me wrong. And he was still averaging almost 14 yards a catch. But keeping, them out, keeping him out of the end zone is no easy task. And the Bills know that firsthand. So you got to give credit to the Bills for finding a way. I mean, especially in the red zone there. Mahomes to, to Travis Kelsey in the red zone. I mean, that, that's about as automatic as a jugs machine. I mean, that's just what that is. It's just, it's, it's automatic. It literally works every time. It's like the best, it's the best scoring threat it's one of the best scoring threats in history. Mahomes and, and Kelsey in the red zone. And when you look back, it's like, you know, Mahomes doesn't get the ball to Kelsey in the end zone on that first drive. And Teron Johnson, pick, or excuse me, and Kyrie Elam picks it off. 